At the end of this month, our state will recognize November 29th. It is the day the Sand Creek Massacre happened in southeastern Colorado. U.S. troops violently attacked, murdered 230 Native American women, children, their elders. It is the most deadly massacre in Colorado state history and an incredibly important one for all of us to learn about and, of course, to honor the victims. Just in time to mark that day, History Colorado is debuting a new exhibit. Yeah, we have Shannon Borrell here with us. She's the director of exhibit planning. And Shannon, thank you so much for being with us. Sure Appreciate thing. It. Thank you. And Shannon, the exhibit is called The Sand Creek Massacre, The Betrayal That Changed Cheyenne and the Arapaho People Forever. So if you would tell us a little bit about this exhibit, what people can expect whenever they go see it. Sure. The exhibition will feature the life of the Cheyenne and Arapaho before the massacre, um, the massacre itself, and then their resilience afterwards. So there will be artifacts, there will be um, beautiful images of the Cheyenne and Arapaho, and really just a chance to think about all the victims of that massacre. And Shannon, how did this all come about? Did you work with the tribal leaders to put this together too? We did, yeah. History Colorado has been working very closely with the tribal leaders for um, 10 years, I myself for five years. Mm. And so it's been a very big endeavor to partner with them so closely and work in a government to government co-creation way. Shannon, the Sand Creek Massacre we know is essentially a genocide. Mm. So how have the Arapaho and Cheyenne tribes been able to deal with the trauma of this throughout all these years? Um, lots of people have dealt with it in different ways. You know, some of the elders that we work with deal with it by working with us and partnering. So that's um, reckoning and healing and, and helping them come to terms with it. Um, some of their youth have been doing a Sand Creek Massacre spiritual healing run mm. that starts out in Eads and comes into Denver. So every year, many of their youth do that run. So I think it's person to person, you know, grief and trauma is so personal. But getting together in community is so important, yes, right? Sharing, yeah. sharing and talking about mm -hmm. it for sure. Absolutely. And this goes into our next question here. Why do you think this is so important to get the word out? Um, because it's foundational to Denver and foundational to Colorado. Um, this is how our state became a state. You know, Cheyenne and Arapaho people lived here and they were pushed out as we broke treaties and moved in and, and colonized. And so if you think about why no more Cheyenne and Arapaho, or I should say why fewer Cheyenne and Arapaho live here now, this is why. So this is the story of how our state became a state. So fantastic. Can't, mm. can't wait to see this yeah. and hear more about it and learn so much about such an important part of our history. Shannon, thank you so much for being with us. We appreciate you so much. And this exhibit opens November 19th at History Colorado. We sure hope that everybody will have a chance to check it out. And in a